congratulations on your purchase of your Propel Atom Micro Drone. Now we wanna get you from taking it out of the box to flying as quickly as possible. So this is our quick start video to kind of get you up to speed and make sure that you're flying it and charging it properly. Take a look at your Micro Drone itself. When we get started, you'll notice that there is an on-off switch on the back side of the Micro Drone. Make sure it is in the off position. If the Micro Drone is turned on, it will not charge. You have to have it in the off position to charge it. Now find the charging cable in your box. This is what it looks like. It has a USB connector on one end and it has a little white adapter on the other end. You're gonna take that little white adapter and plug it in just above the on-off switch on your Micro Drone. It only goes in one way, so don't force it. Just find the right spot and it should snuggle right in there real easy. On the other end of your charging cable is a USB socket. Okay? Now you're going to take that little USB cord and you're going to plug it into any USB power source. In this case, I've just used my phone charger. This could be a laptop computer or desktop computer, it doesn't really matter. As long as it provides USB power, it's going to charge your micro drone. Now right now, on this end of your USB charger, you'll notice there is no light on. If I unplug my drone, on comes a red LED light. Unless there is a drone charging on this cable. It is actually in the process of charging up your drone. Unless that is the case, that red LED light will be on, which means when you plug in a drone that needs to be charged, the red LED light will go off. When the drone is fully charged, it will come back on. If no drone at all is plugged into it, it will stay on because it's not in the process of charging a drone. Watch this. I have this blue micro drone right here, and this one is fully charged. When I plug this in, the red LED light stays on because this is a fully charged drone. There's no charging to take place. That's how you get your micro drone charged up. Next, we're gonna talk about flight preparation. So the next thing in getting your drone ready for flight is of course to make sure that you have batteries in your controller. Your micro drone controller takes two AA batteries, just pop them in there, and then you're gonna put that back case cover on. There is a little tiny Phillips head screw that's right there, just like that. You wanna make sure that that is tightened down so that your batteries don't fall out while you're running around with your controller. Now, you'll notice that my controller is currently turned off. That's important. The drone is also turned off you wanna make sure you're turning your drone on first. So I'm coming down here to my drone, I have it on a flat surface, and then I'm gonna kick on that on button. Now, as soon as that happens, you see the LEDs underneath it start blinking. That means it's looking for a remote to sync itself to. Now I'm gonna pick up my remote, and when I turn my remote on, you'll notice that those lights stopped flashing. That means this remote is synced to it. In order to complete the sync to the drone from the remote, you take the left-hand throttle stick and you go up and down. You'll hear a beep. When you hear that beep, it means it's synced and ready to fly. Next time I hit the throttle, the drone is ready to go. Next, we're gonna talk about an overview of the actual controls on the controller itself so you understand how to maneuver. So now I wanna help you understand your remote so you know exactly how to control your micro drone. Now, when you look at your remote, you'll see two primary sticks. The one on the left is your throttle. This is up and down. How much power do you wanna give your drone to fly up or back down again? If you push this stick to the left or the right, it will actually twist your micro drone in the air. We call that turning, turning left, turning right. Now the stick on your other hand, this stick is your banking stick. So you can bank left, bank right, bank forward, bank back toward you. Between these two sticks, this is gonna give you all of your primary control of your drone. Now, there's also two other functions to these sticks. They push straight down in. So if you were to take this stick and push it down, you would actually change the speed setting on the drone, making it fly slower or making it fly faster. This stick over here, when you push it down, it will beep. And when you hear that beep, it means that it's ready for a stunt. Because yes, your drone will actually do 360 degree flips in the air. Now it continues to beep until I push that stick in a direction. When I select a direction, it will flip in that direction. That's how you're gonna control your drone. Now, you also see, other than the power switch that's on the bottom, a set of trim controls. This is trimming it forward, trimming it backward, trimming it left, trimming it right. Trimming simply means that if you're flying it and it tends to wanna to drift in one direction or another, you can compensate for that simply by hitting your trim button. But when you're wondering, hmm, okay, how do I get it back to center again? All you do is hit your button back until you hear a long solid beep, just like this. That long solid beep means 
that it is now back and center and exactly where it needs to be to fly steady without trying to compensate for a left or right forward or back sway. That's your trim control. So that's kind of an overview of the entire controller. Now we're gonna get your drone in flight. Okay, so let's get your drone in the air. When you're first thinking about flying your drone, you need to know which is the front and which is the back of the drone because you have to keep that in mind while it's in the air. Otherwise, you may push your controller to go forward and instead it flies the other way because you had it facing in the wrong direction. So when you look at your drone, you'll actually see there are some silver blades and there are also some black blades. Silver blades are the front of your drone. Black blades are the back of your drone. If it happens to be above your head and you can't see the blades, reference the lights because the white LED lights are the front of your drone and the red LED lights are the back of your drone. Okay, so now that we're getting it ready to fly, all I'm gonna do is pick up my remote control and I'm gonna hit the throttle very, very gently just to kind of lift it up a little bit. This is where you practice hovering. So I'm gonna lift my drone up off the table using my stick in the right hand to go front and back, left and right, and just kind of hold it in a steady position as much as possible. This is hovering, okay? This is the first thing you wanna do when you first get your drone going, is just learn to hover carefully. Don't try anything radical, just try and get it right at eye height and hover that drone. Now once you've done that, you're gonna try turning your drone. All you're gonna do is get that hovering nice and steady and then take that stick and twist it left and right. And your drone will do exactly that. It will twist back and forth. So here we go, twist, 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 twist. That's how you turn your drone. That's how you face it in different directions. So if for some reason you're out there with your drone and it gets turned around the other way and it's facing in the wrong direction, you can use that stick to straighten it back out so you know that the front is facing away from you and the back is facing toward you. Now once you do that, you wanna practice banking. Banking is your right hand stick. So get it up into that hover position again and then take your drone and just bank it back and forth, left and right, left and right. Just like that. Let's try the banking again. Here we go. Bring it up. And of course, you're gonna be flying in a much more wide open space than we have here in the studio. That's important. But you see how I'm just kind of banking it left and right, left and right, just like that. Okay, that is your banking stick there on your right. Now, speed adjustment. Your drone will not do a stunt unless it is at its highest speed setting. So you want to take your stick on the right and you want to, or on the left, I'm sorry, and you want to push it straight down and that will increase how quickly your drone responds to all of its turns. When you're ready to do a stunt, all you do is take that right hand stick, push it straight down, listen for the beep, and then your drone, I just did a flip in the air way above where you could see it. Let me see if I can get it down here in front of me push it down and, oh, I did another one. It looked very, very cool, but it was above the camera. Here we go and flip. There you go, okay. So whichever direction I push that stick, after I push it down and hear the beep, that's the direction it's going to flip in. If I wanna flip it toward me, push it down and pull it back and there's the flip. Those are the stunts that you can do with your drone. It's a whole lot of fun to fly. And next we're gonna talk about your uh, we're gonna talk about troubleshooting your drone. If you run into problems, what do you do? Hey, one additional note before we get into troubleshooting, make sure that you're never flying your drone too high in the air. Keep it at eye level. If you fly it over 15 or 20 feet in the air, it's very tough to tell which is the front and which is the back of your drone anymore. It can get twisted around, out of perspective, you could lose it that way. And we don't want you to lose your drone. So make sure that you're not flying it too high unless you are a master. So what happens if you crash? Don't sweat it. Every single part on your micro drone is designed to be replaced. And actually, if you go to propelrc.com and sign up for their flight club, you will get free replacement parts for one full year. All you have to do is pay some nominal shipping on whatever it is that you need. Or you can call their customer service reps. Now, with each micro drone, we are giving you a package of replacement propellers. Don't just put those on. Refer to your owner's manual because each propeller it actually belongs on a certain motor. If I put this propeller accidentally on that motor, it won't fly properly. It'll just probably flip over on the ground. They each need to be on the proper motor and you'll actually see the propellers are marked with an R and an L on each one for right and left. So make sure you refer to that owner's manual if you are going to replace your propeller blades. 
thank you once again for your purchase of your Propel Atom Micro Drone. Have fun flying.